What is up, America? <laughs> I'm here with Liliana. Hey. This is Wine About It. I'm your host, Claire. So, girl, wine about it. What happened? Wine Tell about me. it. Um, I guess they believe they can beat Derek. So, um, I respect their decision. I don't think there's much to whine about. I'm going to be real honest. Like, I think everyone's surprised I made it here. Like, I floated hard down this crazy river called Survivor. Was that your strategy today was to float? Like, you didn't plan on? <laughs> well, I mean, at first I was thinking about just staying low-key into the background. But then I actually did the challenges and I realized I ain't good at them. So <laughs> that's why my goal was to make it to the merge. Especially okay. when I know that social game would be so key. And when that happened, I was so focused on like making sure where's everyone's votes align, and especially introducing myself to the people I didn't know, mm -hmm. like people like Austin or Abby, yeah, and stuff. So that was super key. Was that. who was the person that you ended up trusting the most today? It was Grant. Grant. You know, like it's kind of funny. We began with these tie votes where it was just between the two of us. And then we ended up staying mm -hmm. all the way to the yeah. finals. Like, look where we came from. So, and then not only that, but as we slowly, like, he also ended up being in pink part two. Yeah. And then when and even the merge, we still, like, confer with each other to see where our votes lie. So he was one of those people that heavily had my back. And then, surprisingly, Derek. At one point, I didn't trust Derek because... He just has a strong personality, he's very honest, but then later I realized he has my back and he and he really just supported me and always yeah. reassured me that hey, you actually got this, you're not just coasting along, you're actually playing the game. Yeah. So I admire that. So who do you wanna see kicked out next? I would like it for be Abby, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I honestly think it's gonna be Derek. Yeah. And it's gonna be down to Abby and Grant. And then my hope to win is Grant. Okay. I'm here for him. Here so for you him think Tatu to will be Grant and Abby? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So what do you think? I know you said you kind of just coasted today. Mm -hmm. But what would you say was the strongest part of your game? Like, what do you think it was that got you to where you are? Definitely um, my social game. Mm -hmm. Like, um, even though... Well, first of all, just the idea of coasting, and then, I mean, part of it was on purpose, but the large part of it was me, like, I'm just bad at these games. Yeah. So I guess people just didn't see me as a threat, so I was like, okay, if they didn't see me as a threat, I gotta know these people, I gotta figure out their strengths and their weaknesses, and I need to figure out, where do your votes lie? Where are these numbers going? Yeah. So. So. This was your first time playing Survivor today. Mm -hmm, yeah. What sort of knowledge did you have about the game coming in, or did you kind of just jump in blind, I'll figure it mm -hmm. out as I go? Like, I knew the basics of the rules. Like, It's not like I completely didn't know what Survivor was. And I watched it a few times here and there. Like I said, a million times during this episode, I might as well make it into a bingo square, is I'm a Big Brother fan. I know way more about Big Brother than I do Survivor itself. So, um, did you use anything you know about Big Brother to help you out today? Definitely the laying low part and try and get all like the, the quote unquote the muscles. Those are the people who have either like big heads or just like are great physically at challenges. Yeah. You know, get those, those egos out. Mm -hmm. Well, the show's called Wine About It. Mm -hmm. Big wine fan. I have a nice glass of red wine here with me. If you could compare your game to any beverage, what would it be? And why? I guess if I had to compare my game to any beverage, I it would be just water because of this rain, because it was slippery, y'all. But also, like, even though water is plain and everything, it's still very necessary. Mm -hmm. I hope that goes to show in the jury votes. Yeah. So would it be like water with ice, water, like room temp water, mm -hmm. bottled water? Water with lemon. Water with lemon. Always got to have a little flavor here and there, if you know what I mean. A little zing. <laughs> a little zing. Like every time I vote, I always type, like I don't know why, but I started doing these weird dances. Yeah. <laughs> so did you have fun today, Lilian? 
I had a great time. This was nuts. Okay. I loved every bit of it. And would you want to play again? <gasps> yes, for sure. Like, come, if I play again for Survivor, especially, I'll like figure out what I've learned, and hopefully, maybe I can work on my running. Cause God, I didn't realize how much we had to run. But also, I kind of want Big Brother like Taylor call me for the Big Brother. I'm not joking. I'm like, I love Big Brother so bad. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see you for the next game. Yay! This has been another episode of Wine About It with me, your host, Claire, and Liliana. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye. Another thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome back to Wine About It. I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, my bully. Derek Scott, our third place winner in Survivor Trial by Fire. Ooh. Okay, so this is Wine About It. Mm -hmm. So, Wine About It, what happened? Um, I think, so, honestly, I didn't show up uh, towards the end. Uh, I did this whole spiel about, you know, being on the fly on the wall, and that's all fine and dandy whenever the numbers are large, but um, I really didn't get any experience then to bring to here, and I really didn't show up here. Um, Abriel is a, a monster of a competitor. Um, I couldn't get around it. Um, the only thing I could think back and do differently is um, I originally wanted Abriel out, um, but I think Grant had made a tie um, to get that to where uh, it felt better in his favor. Now I think me and him were like looking to enter the final two together, but I mean. He just made a better tie. I straight up, uh, I remember Abriel voted me out and I just looked at her and smiled and I said, okay. And I knew I, I screwed myself from there. Is So was this kind of the blind side? Like you didn't really see this coming? No, I saw this coming from okay. two miles away. Gotcha. Um, definitely, whenever it came. I mean, when my name started popping up more apparently, I knew it was me, it was me and my camp versus, mm -hmm. you know, anyone else. And luckily it fell into where we had majority. And all we had to do was win one. And Abriel just came and showed us, like, hey, I'm not going to go out of this quietly. And she did. Yeah. And it was phenomenal. So who do you think is going to win? Um, Abriel's definitely brought, I don't know what the judging parameters are, but based off of personal personality, it's nasty. Things that are, Abriel really just blew it out of the water. I would love yeah. for Grant to win. Yeah. Um, again, that was my main like line in the sand. This is the person I'm trying to win with. Um, but I think Abriel has it by a long shot, unfortunately. Yeah. So, you came in here with your girlfriend today, but y'all didn't really let people know that. No. Can you kind of walk me through that decision process and why y'all decided to do that? It wasn't necessarily one of those things that we planned on keeping secret, but I think the thing is Liz and I would exchange uh, eyes every now and again, and it was like, like, do you want to be known? Do you know? And so, like, we made comments like, "How did I suddenly know so much about Liz's endurance and her? Yeah. How she, she, like, when she laughs, she pounces and stuff like that." It was like, so I was really surprised no one caught on. Yeah. But um, the rampage that followed to save my own ass. Yeah. Once Liz was on the chopping block, yeah. I mean, we took out, I took out Thomas, I took out Matthew. Um, once Liz was gone, it, it, it was like, wow, like two guys lay in wake. Yeah. You know, and, you know, Liz was still there. Um, Matt really got the brunt because everyone was like, he voted for Thomas. He had to vote for Thomas. And yeah. I was the vote. And I was just yeah. like, of all people, it, I didn't like pinning it to Matt, but it was like, yeah. thank God it was someone who was like a tough uh, yeah. opponent. So what do you think was the strongest part of your game today? Like what brought you to politics. this third place. Politics? Very, very, because I think I became that guy that people could confide in, or I became that guy that could work group A to group C, and B to A, and A to, you know, and then let the cards fall where they needed to, in the sense of people saying, like, okay, well, I, you know, in the case of Morgan, um, they wanted Clyde out from the get-go. So I went up to Clyde, and I was like, hey, buddy, I'm going to let you know. Mm -hmm. I said, I have the numbers. Do you want to be in this? And like he was like, yeah. In fact, then he brought up the totem thing. I was like, all right, well, let's get rid of her, and we did. Um, I really didn't want to see him go, but yeah. So this is your first time playing Survivor. Mm -hmm. Did you have any sort of knowledge of the game of Survivor coming into today, or did you kind of just go in I blindly? Winged the whole thing. Winged um, it completely. It completely. Though I watched Survivor when I was a kid, but I mean, I was four. I didn't know what was yeah. going on. I just thought it was really cool. They were living on islands and stuff. I was like, hell yeah. 
So how was that experience for you, sort of just like jumping in head first and just having to figure it out as you go? I mean, it's very sink or swim. Yeah, it really is. Um, but the thing is, you really can float along, and you can put in just enough effort to where you don't look like a floater. Like, yeah. Liliana did more than I did. And yeah. as you can tell, I went into the final three, she did. Yeah. And I, I remember once uh, Ariel won that vote, I was like, I, was, I, I thought I didn't think I'd make it to three. I thought I was going to be done at four in the sense that, um, you know, I really did float. The one challenge I won, I had Grant back me up. Yeah. So it was like, uh, I really just didn't have uh, the gusto to keep, yeah. keep on. Well, the show is called Wine About It. You know I'm a big wine fan, and I have a glass with me right now. If you could compare your game to any beverage, what would you compare? You know, you see those movies where it's like the it's the evil businessman and he's sitting there and what's he have in his hand? Scotch. Mm -hmm. And so um, I don't feel good about a lot of the things I did today. <laughs> I don't. Um, I'm not, I'm typically someone who likes to take care of people. And I think that's why Grant and I work so well is because, you know, at the end of all, I could turn to Grant and be like, all right, well, he's taken care of. That's fine. I kind of, when I saw Liz fall apart, I, 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 been, I just had to cut strings at that point. I was like, yeah. I want to help you. I can't, though. Yeah. But uh, yes, definitely, like, if it were to be anything, it would be a, um, a delightfully tasteful yet harsh scotch. Just scotch, neat, just neat. Right. Yeah, because whenever you, the people who, uh, nah, that's probably a bad way to say it. I guess if it were to be any beverage, you en you enjoy it on the on the positive side, and then whenever you're on the downside of it, you probably don't like it. So I guess, to scratch that, you know what I want it to be? I want it to be, <laughs> I want it to be, uh... Like just uh, Jory's Margaritas. Jory's Margaritas. Yes. Specifically Jory. Jory's Margaritas. For y'all who don't know, um, Jory takes a can of uh, tequila, a can of lime juice, and some triple. A can of triple sec. A can of triple sec. Pours it all in one, and they're delicious. They really are. They, it's a phenomenal recipe for what it is. You drink one, you're having a great time. You drink two, you're not so. You're, you're still having a great time. You're a little loose. Three. You're on that teeter-totter to blacking out, four, you're blacking out, five, you're throwing up. And yeah. um, no one wants to be the throwing up person. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's Jory's Margaritas, you know? Yeah. You enjoy it for the, the long haul, but whenever blackout comes around and you're throwing Stop. up, yeah, you're over it. <laughs> so did you have fun today, Darren? I had a blast. I really did. Um, I came into this um, after three days of writing. So um, in my head, I was like... I was like, man, and, you know, I, after three days, I'm just happy to see anyone. Um, let's see how this goes. We got in. I met everyone here is phenomenal. That's what I didn't meet one person. I was like, I don't like that person. I got one person here. Everyone is just a picked from a great cloth, a good fabric of people. Yeah. Um, so it was phenomenal. I enjoyed it. I want to come back. Um, if I am to uh, come back, I'm definitely pumped for that. Yeah. Um, well, we can't wait to have you back, Derek. It is a privilege to be bullied by you. Oh. I'm here with our third place winner for Survivor Trial by Fire, Derek Scott. This has been another episode of Wine About It. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome to Wine About It. Claire got a little too wine drunk to finish these interviews, so I'll be filling in. So, Avriel, how do you feel right now? I'm alright. I'm okay with how it played out. Uh, a little sad, a little bit, just a little devastated because it was so close. It was very close. And I feel like I could have flipped one more vote, but I think that it was an uphill battle because that jury was mostly all of his allies. That's hard. So... Who do you think in the game caused the most drama? The most if any. drama. That's a tough one. Probably me. To be to be honest, probably me. And do you think that led to getting you to the top two? Yes, but I think it went unnoticed for a little bit. Maybe not as much towards the end, but around once the once the merge hit and then about halfway through I was I was flying out. And what do you think was your strongest move? Like number one, one thing you did in the game today? 
I um, I was responsible for that flip vote that got out Morgan, and then that gave me the power to really solidify the um, the giant group vote for getting out Clyde. And then from there on, that just kept building and building and building, where it was really up to me and whoever I talked to about who's going home. And did you have fun? Absolutely. You, oh, absolutely. It was a blast. Would you play again? Yeah, absolutely. And I have one last question. What beverage would you use to describe your gameplay today? And get creative. <clears throat> that's a rough one. Something that starts out really bitter and then gets really sweet and then gets bitter again. What would that be? Maybe champagne? <laughs> that's fair. Like a mimosa, but then yeah. you run out of orange juice yeah. and you're just drinking like gross Walmart champagne. Or me or or pulp. Like you get <laughs> Oh, that's good. Like you get the champagne, that's it's good. bitter, then the orange juice is sweet, and then the pulp. And then you yeah. just have the pulp with some like leftover champagne at the bottom. Yeah. That's probably a pretty good one. Yeah. And my cat's name is Mimosa, so it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, folks. We have Abriel, the last person to get out of Survivor. I don't know the name. Trial by fire. Trial by fire. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Hey, welcome to our final episode of Wine About It. We are here with our winner of Survivor Trial by Fire. So Grant, how do you feel? I feel exuberant. Like, this is the peak of my life. Uh, I'm so excited. It's so unreal. I, I'm i gonna cry tonight. Thank you. So that was a close vote. What do you think put yeah. it over the edge for you? I really think it was the solidifying my spot in the final two. I think people kind of had like respect for that and um, yeah I really think that was it and like uh, John uh, I know John and like Thomas, um, I knew that socially uh, being like um, kind and like just like a fun person with them made them uh, vote towards me so like, I think that kind of helped too. Because we're not both votes towards you. <gasps> Shut up, really? I'm serious. I know Thomas was. Thomas was. <gasps> John! You had Thomas. You had. Did I say this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You had Thomas, um, Derek, Liz, Lily, and Heather. Shit. Yeah. What do you think? I'm shot. I mean, I got John out. I mean, like my like alliance got like John out. So like I like understand where he was coming from. Like dang, I thought that. He was okay, so um, what was your f either like favorite moment or challenge of the whole day? My favorite challenge, um, I really liked the uh, the stacking of mm -hmm. the uh, cups. That was fun. Okay, and one last question. Um, if you had to describe your day and your game with um, a beverage, <laughs> what would it be? Um, a good, like, lemonade. Okay. That's it. Here we are with the winner of Survivor Trial by Fire, Graham. Wait. I love you. <laughs>